don't miss the new second edition of Alien vs. Predator from Protoss Games. Spiky bits. What's up, Hobby Maniacs? Rob Bear with you. Checking out the brand new second edition to the Alien vs. Predator game. Now, I think the first edition came out uh, a couple years ago. I think it was on Kickstarter. This is a more updated apparently a smoother playing version of the game according to the people I have talked to and also BoardGameGeek.com by the way if you haven't checked out BoardGameGeek.com for all of the updates on whether games suck or not <laughs> they can save you a lot of time when you're at the checkout or you know milling about in the aisles at your local game store trying to pick up a new game but back to Alien vs. Predator this is made by Protos Games you can check them out at ProtosGames.com of course uh, they have forums over there too they're very helpful when it comes to any questions you might have about any issues in the game etc or just want to know more stuff about you know just any other products out there now there are upgrades to the kit which you're going to see uh, actually come separately you can buy them as like upgraded kits uh, for some additional scenarios that they haven't released yet at least that I have been able to see so stuff like alien face huggers uh, 32 millimeter scale so these obviously would work well in some other games that we feature on the channel here from time to time so when you open this up it comes with a lot of different things now oh well, hold on let's take a look at the packaging here so it's a lot square packaging it's not your traditional kind of a rectangular length packaging now this particular a game uh, is listed on Protoss' site for I think 49 pounds UK now what that uh, equates out to whether you can buy it over there and have it shipped here uh, that's you know just straight up currency transaction now you can get them on Amazon from various different sellers for around $100 US so I mean theoretically the better deal would be for shipping and conversion I don't know you just kind of got to weigh it out whether you should get it there or whether you should get it on Amazon or from a, a retailer here in the States at least if you are in the States in Europe I imagine it's just a lot easier to just go through Protos but what do I know <laughs> so as far as the miniatures themselves really robust kind of lineup uh, and I really like how they have the the foam uh, storage trays in here because a lot of times you get these games and you're like okay cool I put all this stuff together and now what do I do it just like breaks you know because you have all these like hard uh, component card components and everything and you're just like oh so frustrating and you can always buy the upgrades from different companies you know for foam that goes in the box but at the end of the day like I just want to have everything in one box I'm a, I'm a 40k fat kid you know I know that doesn't have a lot of meaning on this particular thing but I just want to buy one thing and just have it all and if I want to buy upgrade sets that's cool too like I'll do that but that's what I like about this because it comes with everything you need right inside here including a case to carry it around in that and not to mention the fact that the miniatures are all one part you literally only have to open this up punch out the the, the terrain pieces all of the uh, little board tiles and markers and you can start playing like right off the bat like maybe 15 20 minutes there isn't a quick start guide to this there is a full-blown rule book but if you have the first edition it plays similar from what I understand again I haven't played either of the versions I have to be up front with you guys um, I don't know much about the game, but I can tell it looks like it's pretty cool and from the quality invested in the, tr the train tiles and also the miniatures you would think that they would put just as much time and effort into the rules as well and that's what it sounds like from some of the reviews I checked so hey I'm, I'm okay with all these things so first up here's what you get inside you get three predator young bloods these aren't like the full-on predators they can just like super laser beam everything to have to work for it you know um, you get colonial marines which we all <laughs> game over man we all know how that goes then you get 10 of the young blood aliens and five there's two of each ones right there which which are notated and five of the what is this um i guess they call them stalker aliens i guess they're like the warrior aliens the defenders of the of the tribe so to speak and you know the ones that go out and seek, defend uh, the colony and also try to acquire uh, new human species to I guess implant with the embryos I, I don't know exactly how the whole cycle of the alien um, in, in embryo thing starts but I assume it's it's something uh, in, a, in and of itself there so when you open this up you're gonna notice again it's the square box it's not your full-on rectangle that you expect most um, board games to come in which is pretty cool because if you've ever been to Protoss' booth at any of their events all of their stuff is roughly the same size so it's a lot easier to transport around of course it doesn't take up that much uh, space on the shelf either for retailers so um, you know it's an exciting product that would lend itself nicely to being stocked by a lot of retailers so I like that I like the business sense here I'm, I'm, I'm feeling from Protoss and digging it digging it all right, and taking a look at it here, you get the second edition rule book, which is about 60 pages. Like I said, there's no quick start guide in here. I'm 
Again, a full, what I like to call a 40k fat kid. I just want everything all at once and I want it as quick as possible because I'm a stupid American and that's the way we operate. And I'm not ashamed to admit it, but um, theoretically, I do like the speed and ease of which it would take to get the game set up. Now, I'm not sure how long it would take to actually get in here and dig into the rules and actually play. Because again, like I said, there's no quick start guide, but that might not be a thing, so I don't know. So I can't I can't say that's a, a strike against it when I don't really know. I'm just making observations and shooting from the hip there. Here's some of the expansion packs that we talked about. Like I said, I've got the uh, young blood guys right here that I actually picked up because I thought, oh hey, those are pretty cool. Everybody likes a little little face hugger lug uh, love right there, you know? Oh, they're not the young bloods, they're the face huggers. So there's uh, the young bloods too. And uh, they got the power loader, some alien warriors, alien queen, big box, all sorts of cool stuff here. Great, great, fantastic sculpts from these guys. I love checking out their stuff. And then it gets into, um, you know, all of the tiles and everything. Of course, I messed them up. Theoretically, they all go like this, so you can pull them all out with this little thumb. Uh, notch right there. Now it's all fantastically well detailed stuff that we've come to expect from this kind of quality of card with the UV glossy cardstock. And like I said, it's all right here. This is the first batch of them. They got door sections. They've got environmental sections. There's some incubator sections. I guess the actual breakdown is um, eight T shape, eight L shape, ten dead end, eight air vent tile, seven rooms. And a predator. Oh, that's what this one is. Is a predator pod. I wondered what that was. That's cool. And some templates, uh, wound counters, ping, activated sentry hide, and objective token, and 20 door pieces, which was that first one we just saw right there. So this just gives you an idea of some of the sections. Of course, you got the Wailing Yutani uh, logos right there. We all know what that is if you're into the lore, so to speak. And then this is the part that I really dig. I think they they really outdid themselves with this particular feature right here. I guess um, with the, the storage, you know? Hey, it's all ready to go. Check this out. You got a spot for your dice. You got a spot for your cards. And again, there's a bunch of different cards to the game. Apparently there's 20 environmental cards, 20 mission cards, 60 strategy cards, uh, 20 for each faction because there's three different factions in here. Donated by their, their colors right here, which of course you can obviously paint these guys up let's zoom in on this a little bit here and get you a better idea of how cool these miniatures are so there's a like a warrior predator right there you can tell it's all one piece all of these are all one piece which is really neat and obviously a reason that you want to protect them and this isn't like that crappy pvc this is like a really nice resin that looks to hold its detail pretty well I haven't, you know, tried painting it or anything, but I would assume it would lend itself very nicely to that. I obviously do a, do a search to see other folks that have talked about this. You might have to kind of heat this up and bend it a little bit, but it seems to be that harder resin that is a little bit easy to adjust and actually adhere to a shape once you get it into the shape. Oh, and another thing cool that I really like about this is it has the little, if you couldn't tell by the shapes and you're more of a visual type person by picture, well, there it is right there and it goes right into that. So you got all of them, like here's the Colonial Marines, of course, very well detailed. We'll get some better pictures once we start pulling all these guys out. But there's the Colonial Marines taking cover. You got the Predators, you got all sorts of aliens. Like I said, you got the the regular young blood kind of alien guys and then some of the warrior dudes like the full on like just ripping through stuff right there and then there's a little spot for all the d20s for the game and then this actually pulls up and there's more tiles that complete the rest of the set right there and so obviously you can pop all these out and then kind of have this put on top of it just sticking out of, of the top right there and then put your uh, books on top of it once you get everything kind of punched out I feel like would be the way to go about this particular game here. So let's zoom in, show you some of the graphics on this stuff. And so here's some of the graphics on the cards. These uh, I think are the mission cards, which I think are pretty neat. No, these are not mission cards. These are strategy cards, 20 for each faction. Hmm, not exactly sure, but you can tell the graphics are pretty neat. It's got that whole like, uh, Geiger kind of feel to him, which a lot of the alien stuff was based off of. Uh, he actually had a hand in the first movie there. A lot of different occurrences. If you played the first uh, game, apparently stuff, weird stuff would happen like, you know, there'd be uh, a, a shake in the ship and your guy crashes into a bulkhead and like takes a wound and 
So there's like random occurrences basically. Now I'm not sure if that's in this particular one right here, but that would be good to know. Oh, here's, these look like the faction guys, the stack cards. 20 for each, oh, the Colonial Marine. Okay, so these are the stack cards. So these are really neat. I'm all about some game aids to have all of the quick reference uh, stuff that you need to play. Alien Infant Warrior, Smart Gun, Predator Hunter. Oh, okay, these are really cool, I dig these. I think they did a great job with this. Oh, here's the mission cards. So these are ones per faction, because you can tell that's probably Predator Faction. Hmm, something like that. Not exactly sure. Not that it has a super relevant bearing on this particular unboxing, but so far so good. I'm liking the graphics, I'm liking the design, I'm liking what we're seeing here, and <laughs> they even have the little spot that matches up in the bottom of the, right here. So you know where to put the cards in case you didn't know where to put the cards. Hey, the cards go right there. And let's take a look at some of these miniatures like I just showed you. Oh, here's that cool with that Triskelion. So there you can see the Predator with the dope background and holding, I think that's a Tris, what is that called? Triskelion? Tris, Triskelic? Something like that. It's an actual, there's an actual name to it. I forget exactly how it's pronounced. But man, look at that detail. Like this is a one piece cast. Like this is crazy. Like the technology that goes into this, I couldn't even begin to tell you. I don't know much about it, but it seems to hold its shape well. It seems very sturdy. I would definitely be very confident in painting these miniatures. I'd love to see a set of these painted up. These look pretty sweet. So there's a predator, and here's one of the aliens, and I'll put him back in his designated spot, of course. Here's a couple of different aliens. First off, there's this one that looks pretty fresh. Just kind of chilling on top of the bulkhead right there, or the floor. Again, very well detailed. Got all the, the classic kind of uh, look to them there. I'm digging that. That's pretty neat. And then this one here. Again, another very well done pose. Just kind of like striding towards its prey. Not something you want to see coming at you when you don't have... A full clip in your gun, that's for sure. Wow, these are really cool. Well, if we got some time, we will try to learn this game and give it a whirl and see how it plays. It doesn't look like there's very much to it, and there's obviously very little setup time besides punching out the box or the box components themselves right there, as far as that goes. And I got you know, I got to tell you what, I got to really hand it to Protoss Games because that is a really, really neat feature. I feel like just having this inside of here now, I'm I'm not as, like I said, I don't know about the quick start guy, but man, I'm feeling, hmm, I'm feeling, I'm really feeling this. I'm really feeling this. It seems like they have an exceptional, uh, exceptional attention to detail in this box, kind of uh, learning from their first experience, putting out the version two. Oh, and also according to Board Game Geek, that they, uh, they made a lot of general changes and uh, TLDR, they did a good job finally, except for a little bit with engaging by displacing, which is now, quote, a hot mess with inconsistent occupation points for Royal Guard and teleporting Marines hell and Hellhounds. I don't know what that means because I have not got in to play the game, but I'll tell you what, there's something wrong with everything we always play. There's no perfect game out there, so I feel like if there's only one little thing that somebody has something um, constructive to talk about then I feel like that itself is a win-win oh and let's take a look at this um, little expansion pack too I got you this is a face hugger expansion pack I think it was 15 pounds so not sure exactly how that translates out in conversion rates depending on where you're at in Europe and or America but um, that is the price I think these might have been like 30 bucks at Adepticon I remember looking at them uh, there so there's the face huggers and they come with their unit card which like I said I am very much for any sort of unit card or game aids and it looks like they got some uh, marker blip things so you never know what these guys are gonna be that's cool that they included that but here they are man these things are really neat I mean you could use these for a lot of different things and I'm sure there's some folks out there already got their already got their creative juices flowing for what they could use these bad boys for but yep straight on face huggers that is pretty crazy. Again, appear to be a one-part cast. Yeah, uh, definitely appear to be a one-part cast from Protos Games as well. So that is it. That is our review for 
the expansion pack for the face huggers as well as the base game itself that's alien versus predator version 2 the hunt begins available now from protos games now if you like our video features here on youtube make sure you subscribe to this channel and so you can support us over on Patreon and get a box of miniature swag delivered to your door every month or every three months if you fancy a miniature army delivered to you and head on over to the longwar.net. That's the home of the battle reports for exclusive content, early access videos, and more. Become a veteran of the long war today.